Hi, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us <laughs> and with Anastasia. So this is part three, and we are starting to see a lot of people that we know now. How, hi, Rabia. How are you? <laughs> hi, Tash. <laughs> so nice to have all of you guys. So uh, today, well, you're going to have an illustration session with Anastasia, as you can see. Uh, and we're going to talk about black silhouettes that also can be made with coffee. Uh, so Anastasia has sent me a uh, few pictures and illustrations uh, that I'm going to share with you through the group chat. So please let me know through the group chat if you receive them or not. And otherwise, I will send them over through email. As usual, what I would like us to do is, while Anastasia is doing her exercise, I would like everybody to mute their microphones. And if you want to ask a question to Anastasia, send a message through the chat or use the function on Zoom to raise your hands. And I will take care of asking your question or putting the video spotlight on you, okay? Perfect. All right, Anastasia. So as usual, I'm going to mute my camera. I'm going to mute my, my microphone. And now it's up to you. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. So hello, everyone. Uh, today, I will start to show you. You are coming and I can't imagine that you are all over from like the world uh, and today I'm going to show you one technique which I study on uh, like in Moscow uh, and here there is one of the work uh, which we will do today it will be collage but this time because we already it's our third class we will progress we will do based on silhouettes and this is quite uh, yeah interesting stuff um, so how it's working? I will show you already several works to make you like uh, inspired uh, because we will really work uh, with kind of sketching uh, and after we will put it on our silhouettes how we are doing normally and I think yeah, they are looking quite beautiful and I hope I will inspire you by them. Uh, how we will make it? It will be looking like a little bit like psychology test. <laughs> uh, and we will do it uh, with black ink, or if you don't have black ink, uh, you can take coffee. <laughs> it will be helpful. Uh, and then we will start to make uh, with you black silhouettes. What is black silhouettes? Normally in fashion, the most important is the silhouette. So you see the defile and the first thing you see the silhouette and after you see uh, real details and how it's making and it's what catch your eye. That's why it's so important to draw. Uh, and uh, today we will do it a little bit like uh, this way. Uh, I know for you it's a bit uh, scary but this is the most important after it will open your imagination like completely. Uh, and how we are doing it, um, we'll use uh, black ink uh, and uh, at the beginning you will need to forget that you, <laughs> that you are, sorry, fashion designer. <laughs> you need Anastasia, you, you've muted your microphone. Pardon. <laughs> uh, sorry. Um, so, um, as I said before, I don't know, did you hear that the black um, silhouette is the most important to make? And how we will make it at the beginning, I will ask you to forget that you are fashion designers. And then I will give you tasks. So you will need um, to take your black ink uh, and with brush uh, to draw me uh, sadness, happiness, uh, wind, uh, some expression and that with your spot we can understand it. But you're doing at the beginning you will draw your hand. 
I'm so sorry. Well, it will be like, yeah, final. I will just explain a little bit. <laughs> um, at the beginning, uh, you will draw your head with a small spot uh, because you need, as a designer, you need to remember that your head uh, is um, eight times in normal person. And when you are doing fashion illustration, it's 10 times or 12 because we're doing silhouette uh, longer. It's the only one thing that you will do, like small spot, and after we'll start to paint uh, black stuff. Uh, you will take your A4 uh, paper, like this, and then what I will ask you to make is to fold it like this. And then you can cut it. I already cut it. So you will have many, many, many of these like pages. Uh, and we will start to draw black silhouettes. And so right now we are starting to work. Please prepare your paper. So. <laughs> so at the beginning, it will be uh, just black silhouette, uh, as you can see. You can take your, I don't know, coffee, for example, if you don't have, you are just putting a little bit of coffee. Uh, no, maybe a lot of coffee and a little bit of water. It's like one way of preparation. Then you can take your brush, you will take it all together and you will start to make that it will have some light. Or you can take like black ink and uh, we can use different type of brushes. Uh, I will start with black ink because for me it's more comfortable. Uh, you are drawing your head. You see, I'm drawing uh, like a small spot. So this is my head. And after I'm putting all my silhouette, I can think that maybe over there, inside of my silhouette, there is some person and I'm doing some uh, pose. And after I start to build my spot, my black spot, uh, and I can do them many different, it's like a collection. Uh, they can be, you know, like maybe they will be open more upper. Or uh, maybe it will be like, uh, more down and on top you will do like bigger spots. Always remember here to put your head because it's a fashion silhouette. Uh, and then uh, it could be a silhouette, it could be uh, O silhouette, <laughs> it could be yeah, completely different. Uh, you can think that maybe, you know, where is this head? Normally here uh, there is like a leg which you can think and after you can combine as you want your black spot and then i want that you will do you know like uh, many many uh, of them like completely different we can do i will do one as well if you have coffee to show you how it's going with coffee so there is um uh, different system how you are create as well if you can use like different uh, materials I don't know for example it was uh, not long time in the cafe and you have you know some stuff which you can um, a little bit do like and uh, um, small wind <laughs> and then your spot will become like more beautiful and you are doing different of them. This is the first step to understand how to draw because after based on it, uh, after when it will uh, be dry, then uh, we will draw on top. You can put them like all around uh, that they will dry. Uh, and I will start to show you uh, how we will make the lines. Right now you can have a look while they are drawing, uh, this is the illustrator. His name is Aubrey Bertsley, and he was doing fantastic job. Uh, as you can see, he was love uh, to do uh, like frou frou, and here all lines are very beautiful. And right now, you can take uh, some of the images uh, 
on our chat because uh, here you can see how the lines are going and after on our illustration you know we can put them even up uh, and we can draw them completely different and while you will draw I don't know for example this part on your black silhouette no one will know how did you do it and by doing this because we need sometimes to copy different artists to finally have our own style even your Mamata said that like the more you copy in one day you will become uh, yeah like better and better and so Anastasia uh, after, yeah could you please uh, give us the name of the artist again Aubrey Bertsley got it thank you and any coffee is all right to use right like even coffee powder yeah uh, I hope, yeah, just make it with water that it will be, you know, like color like this, that it will be a really strong color that you can see after that it will be not transparent. Perfect. Sorry, go ahead. Thank you. And so after, while you have your black silhouette, then we will start to explore. Uh, we can start to think where our fabrics are going. Uh, and because you have yeah, your artist, you can have a look how he was drawing uh, all the fabric part. So you see, I start to draw and it's already looking that there is um, some dress which is going on. After, how we are putting ornament? We will start with the most simple ornament, which is dots. Uh, and while we're seeing uh, our dot on flat, uh, plain part you see so here we don't have any uh, fabric going it's like flat but when there is some line then it drops you see I'm dropping my uh, dots there is one part there is another and because uh, you can show completely different your fabric it could be maybe soft fabric uh, or <clears throat> smooth or opposite like very strong so you can use it like completely different. Uh, and after what I'm doing, you see, uh, I am making some lines more thin, uh, some uh, more fat, uh, like during the line. If I'm not sure, I'm just uh, repeating my line. Uh, and then, yeah, it's going somehow. And I will show for you here yeah, like on many different silhouettes, how different it could be. It's one of the way, how you are choosing your, and how you are exploring your imagination. Because uh, I don't know sometimes uh, where I will put uh, my, my fabrics. Just here, I'm just trying, and it's becoming something new. And you can do that somewhere. Your lines are very often, uh, and there are a lot of them, but put somewhere like less that your eye will be will focus on something what is important for example here and then here it's more empty and then it's more uh, easy and uh, you can do you see uh, like quite different uh, silhouettes like this uh, it could go you see like this way uh, or maybe it will be more on the shoulders less on the legs and it could be very, very different. <clears throat> uh, and then after, uh, you can even start with more complicated uh, ornament if you can. So for example, I don't know, I will put here, it will be like leaves on the stuff. So here it's like flat. And after when I start to draw my fabrics, it will start here as well to drop and to be a bit, different here uh, as well try to do them uh, as more as possible and always um, very different because it's like in a collection some silhouettes should be very simple uh, and some silhouettes should be like too much <laughs> and yeah don't forget too much is never enough so yeah uh, Anastasia quite <laughs> yeah there is a question about your white pen. Could you show the mm -hmm. brand of the pen, please? Uh, yes. Uh, it's like it's a this normal it's one, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. like Uniball. Yeah. So. 
And, and right now you're using white, but you could use gray as well. Or tax has the same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, or silver or gold. Or if you have coffee. Sorry, we'll do one on coffee. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. For people who have coffee. Um, we will do with black pen, of course. Okay, great. Thank you. So right now you can decide, I don't know. For example, here somewhere in the middle, uh, I will do oops, like a ball. You see here, off. <laughs> and you see how it's different because uh, right now this pen is uh, slightly thinner than another one. And it's given a bit uh, effect that um, maybe it's a silk fabric um, and ve very light fabric, <laughs> I would say. And as well as an Aubrey Bertley, you can see sometimes or when uh, fabrics is folding, you can do it's like a snake dun, 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 dun. Uh, and after for your snake you are showing um, the end of the snake and then it's becoming like a real fabric Brigitte. Uh, why we start? Um, of course, the best one if you will try uh, on black ink uh, because black ink um, it's more um, flat, uh, and then when you draw, you don't see any kind of shading because in coffee you will have it. But it's beautiful as well because here yeah, it's becoming like different. And right now, once again, start please uh, with dots. I think dots is the most easiest yeah, ornament and it's quite, uh, yeah, looking good. Oh. And as well, yeah, if you have different pens, you can use them as well. Thinner, thicker. This is um, showing how to draw very, um, romantic style in a way uh, as well you can start to do with small dots uh, and if you will do you see i'm doing like uh, tights for example uh, and you can do them that somewhere it will be a lot of them and of course i'm drawing there is some fabric inside uh, and somewhere as ornament normally do, somewhere it will be less, somewhere it will be more. It's always uh, a game uh, of shape and the amount. And after, when you will do uh, this part, um, sorry, I know it's drying for you, <laughs> but I hope that after you will keep uh, going. Uh, then, when you have your small part, then we will start to cut it. Uh, and when you will cut it, um, if you have some uh, parts which are not so strong, you can reshape them and add more volume. And then we will start once again, like we did uh, before on last class, we will, we will do collage with them. Uh, for you, the most important is to understand how to draw fabrics because to draw the person, uh, as you see, we always can find uh, someone um, like in collage techniques and it could be uh, much uh, interesting. Of course, it's important, uh, but in a way you can skip this part if you are not so good. Uh, and, and then uh, here, I already like found my goal, which I will use. And all our small parts, uh, you see, I will start to play with it. Uh, and as we did before, it starts uh, to become completely another work. And at the same time, you learn how to draw uh, and um, you are doing fantastic illustration. Uh, and while we are doing uh, this, we will start once again to glue everything on one small point so i'm always gluing everything like a little bit at the beginning and after when i will be more sure i will draw uh, everything once again so
So it will be my goal. <laughs> uh, as well, after, of course, we can do it in color. Uh, and uh, right now you can start uh, to draw more her shoes because we remember once again, <laughs> right now we, once again, we decided that we will be fashion designers, not only artists. <laughs> and then we can think uh, about which kind of shoes she will have. Maybe she will have some socks. Maybe you will add some color over there. Uh, and of course, the best part is always to sign your work. Uh, you can find, for example, in uh, magazines, different letters. And after you can start to glue them. I found super small. <laughs> it's a bit difficult, but anyway. I will do it uh, because the final um, this task is uh, showing you uh, how to start to draw uh, and how to make from it illustration. So it's one task into multiple version. Uh, as well, you can put, uh, as we did before, you can start to put uh, over there maybe your uh, background, uh, which you can find. Uh, because uh, what I can do, I can put here like uh, another color. Uh, and, put, put, pop, and different stuff. Uh, so as you see right now, so this is my like already ready fashion illustration <laughs> uh, as well. Uh, we can work a bit different. Uh, if you have um, with these black silhouettes, if you have um, as it was before, like some magazines and you find the person who you like, you can as well cut it out. Uh, and then uh, as I show you before on previous work, we can uh, start to draw you see uh, on the silhouette we can start to draw like black uh, our spots as we did it here and then we will start to draw uh, all our beautiful fabrics so this is my goal and right now once again uh, I will take my black uh, ink and then I will start to put her here in black. And I can think that maybe my, um, I will have quite crazy spots. Maybe she will have like a dress, you see? Even right now, even here, I can start to draw already my white lines and it will be uh, just, just the top. Uh, and maybe I will keep here like my jeans and then from my top, I can think, for example, I don't want that this uh, trench will be seen. I can do it like different. And after I can we'll start to draw on top. And then think uh, how your spots are finishing. That it will be nice uh, ending of your part of your sketch. Brigitte, while it's drying, <laughs> uh, I will start to show you how we can uh, draw here. So as you see, once again, I have a girl. It's like from the same story. It's even cool to take from the same story, the girl. I can think that here, maybe, for example, uh, I have um, some uh, belt. And after I start to draw my lines. And here, because you see, I didn't try it before. So it will be even for me quite inspiring and quite new stuff to make. I maybe I will make here like big ball. Up. <laughs> and after up. Uh, then we can start uh, again as we were doing it before. Uh, we can start to cut this girl. Put her on another uh, 
background. Uh, and as you see here, I did like a lot, a lot of lines. And after somewhere, I can put uh, just several of them. Uh, and then when you will add, uh, like to add ornament is always great idea because the ornament is helping to make your drawing make more real that your fabrics will become. And as well, you can uh, think that, for example, here uh, it will be uh, with ornament, but after there will be some plain part that ornament will work uh, better. And think that, for example, uh, which is the most important. So for me, uh, ornament will be less. It will be just this bow and after all this part uh, will be just black. And then we can start to cut our girl. And like this, we have our illustration. And so um, after, um, for example, here you see, I don't need uh, some parts because uh, yeah, while I did my drawing, I can change it even during the cut, uh, cutting part. And so here you see it's like uh, the same part of drawing, but on with different result. Uh, after you can draw, for example, this uh, black big spot uh, and you can use your uh, light box uh, or if you don't have light box, you can use like normal window uh, and then you can redraw your uh, black part and then start to draw it with pen and then to make it colorful because it all gives like completely different effect. And of course, if you love colors, you're most welcome. Just uh, when it's black, it's more easy for the first step. And then, voila, <laughs> I can put your hair on my another background that guys do you want to show me what you are how you are in progress that maybe i will see some of your works oh it's great yeah Ravia. so you can start it super cool and they're quite different and i love that you have with legs and everything yeah and with big balls yeah and julia is doing great oh <laughs> wow Super cool, and the guys are already doing yeah quite quick stuff. <laughs> All right, so I can uh, like go more. I see that a lot of people here. You didn't switch on your camera, but anyway. Someone is saying no something. Um, I was saying, I was saying that you muted your phone. Yes, but you hear me, no? Um, no, at some point it was muted for like 10 seconds. So we oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, guys, please uh, like send me some of your works if you want as well after on like Instagram. Uh, because um, like this, uh, I can give you some uh, recommendations and uh, toot, 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 toot. so if you are in progress like uh, with this technique you can start as I said so for example we are taking uh, our person and then we can do completely another shape with the works toot, 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 toot. I am as well waiting while we'll dry my uh, first page. Maybe I will do, I will add her even some platform. 
and etc. Uh, and I can uh, keep, uh, I will do some uh, another ornament. So for example, it will be like a romp it's called. Uh, and as well, I'm putting it flat and then when it drops, it's given another type of way. <laughs> it will be a little bit like in a syrup, maybe. Uh, and um, after, uh, while you will finish this, I will show you one technique which I love uh, quite a lot. Uh, when you have, uh, I don't know, do you see it? No, but even for me, uh, right now, I already see the shape of my black silhouette. So you can do it uh, like with a window. With a window, you see, when I'm putting on the window, uh, like my silhouette and after I'm putting my white paper, I see the shape. And right now I can start to use uh, like a pencil and to uh, redraw it. That you will see it, sorry, because I don't have all abilities <laughs> uh, of showing my work. Uh, I'm just uh, repeating, for example, my shape. I have here you see like my head. And so here, once again, I'm repeating the shape of my black silhouette. So it was here. And even right now, I don't need to follow sometimes some lines if I don't need. And if I want something to add, um, I'm a designer. And of course I can. It was at the beginning for imagination and inspiration. And after I can do like completely different. Uh, and then once again, uh, you can start to draw your uh, fabrics. Uh, you can draw, as I said, for example, uh, you can put some bows. Bows are easy. So for example, here, you see it's good to draw a bow. I'm drawing some part. Uh, after there is some stuff which is going out, then there is some lines. Uh, when the fabric is falling, you're making, as I said before, you're like small snake, and after you're just putting some lines all over. And then you have, yeah, you have your silhouettes, and then you can use uh, different colors. And then you can use a paint or color pencils and many, many different ways uh, as you want. So right now I'm using, it's like ProMarker because when you are using ProMarker, they are transparent. So you can still see your lines. Uh, I think it's better to, to fill it in that there will be no uh, like white uh, holes uh, inside with white that you can see your shape. And after once again, with another pen, uh, you can start to put your ornament. So right now I'm putting hearts. Somewhere it will be broken hearts <laughs> because it's going uh on my fabric uh, and for example on the edges it's always cool here yeah, to draw the part of your ornament when it's making drops uh, and after you can start to put uh as i show you before what you can do, you see, you can put uh, like your colors. Uh, and here there is uh, the same way uh, as we did before. There is some black fabrics which were before uh, and some colors. And some colors were with ornament. And as you see here, yeah, it's like huge, big, beautiful illustration. And as well, uh, while you are putting it on different background, it's becoming better. But if you will put your name, um, it's like uh, the best way. <clears throat> uh, 
and then your big works it could look you see uh here it's the same silhouette but here it's like uh, black and white and here it's colorful and it's looking quite different as well oh uh, here it's as well quite a cool uh, illustration because uh, this was one of my students. Uh, yeah, most of these works are from my students. So here you see she draw like a lot, a lot of these small lines and then she place it here somewhere. It's just black. Uh, and because there isn't black and white, it's becoming quite interesting. And as well, you see he draw like some birds uh, on top. And here, uh, because of the background, is looking like, wow, fantastic. Uh, if you have, for example, some logo which you, was on your page, you can color it. So here it was with black, that it will be as well not seen. <laughs> oh, Natalia loves it. Uh, it says that it's beautiful. Yes, thank you. Um, Jit, I hope to see all your works uh, as well and to see how it's moving. While my works are drying, can I maybe once again to have a look? Oh, Julia is showing. Julia is so beautiful and drama as well. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's even super cool as a, as a silhouette. <laughs> uh, thank you. Yeah, this technique is quite, um, it's a little bit uh, hard to start sometimes, but after, oh, Marina. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's so light. Yeah. <laughs> and you put, I see you, you cut one, but it's cool as well. <laughs> yeah, this is so nice. Because after, guys, you can do if you have like photocopy of them, uh, and then you can start. Uh, because this, for example, I did like some photocopies, and then it's more easy to, <laughs> to cut it and to put it on your like collage version. But in the same time, don't afraid here to do like more works. <laughs> and you see, you can do like some very thin silhouettes, some very fat silhouettes. Yeah, they could be so different. You can do crosses. It could be gothic. <laughs> it could be funny. Uh, can we use black or white pen? Yeah, wherever. You can use whatever you want. <laughs> because uh, as well, guys, uh, it's showing your... Uh, different ability and uh, while you are studying always try to create your own style this is the most important uh, because this is uh, is a just a technique but everyone can do it in completely different way and in the same time here yeah, study how to draw because sometimes even you know when they're just black they are as well very funny silhouettes even without fabrics <laughs> So I'm showing here some more silhouettes. I draw them like a lot. And as well, don't afraid, you know, the more lines on your silhouettes, sometimes it give you, um, it's more easy after to find the fabrics, how it's, oops, going. <laughs> this is a little bit like John Galliano. I think it's like too much <laughs> of everything going on. Uh, as well, uh, while you're working with color, someone was asking, there is another illustrator who I love a lot. Uh, his name um, is um, oh, Robert Antonio Lopez. Oh, Leon Bax, sorry, this is Leon Bax. Uh, it's a, a Russian illustrator. Uh, who was illustrated for the theater. And as you can see, he was doing fantastically uh, like fabrics and he put ornament. Uh, and here he used, uh, he didn't use so much shading. It's almost, you see, so there is like orange and there is, there is a little bit of like more orange, more yellow, but it's not so much. But he was using, yeah, with flat kind of drawing. And after he started to put his ornament, and in total, it's looking uh, completely great. And you can use this and uh, after do it in your illustrations. And Aubrey Bert Slane, you will be shocked, but he was drawing only for five years. So don't think that you can't draw. You can draw and you can draw like 
very well and I was starting to draw as well when I was 17. <laughs> um, yeah, the more you are like self-sure in yourself, the better. <laughs> так. All right, can I see someone, uh, Anushka? Can I see your work? <laughs> oh yeah, they are blue, super nice. Yeah, they are super cool. <laughs> they are very I didn't have the black, so. It's fine, it's completely, you see, we're using, yeah. Um, because, for example, coffee, I understood that we can use coffee because I was thinking, ah, everyone will not have black, but after I was like, all right, coffee, and then, <laughs> so blue is super nice. Yeah, you can start right now to cut, uh, you see, like, uh, cut a person which you like after in uh, a magazine. Maybe I need to show once again this technique. You are starting to cut, you see, like, uh, the person, and after you will cut your pieces, which you did, and then you will start to play. And you can put it, like, upper or down. You don't need to think right now how you will see it. So it could go, like, completely. So right now here I did as a sleeve, but maybe it will go as a pants, or maybe it will come as a skirt, or, or maybe I will cut it to many different uh, another pieces and then it will go as well different. It could be, I don't know, uh, it could be, you see, like a head <laughs> or it could go like over there. So after you finish, it's not finished. You're like, you can really play with it. And as well, after you can do some animation <laughs> when it will start to move, you will go to my um, Instagram, Isaac Riga, you will see I show over there that, yeah that you can do some animation as well and it's used with your t-shirt as well <laughs> your drawings <laughs> thank you yeah. you're welcome Tak. so i'm showing uh guys do you want to put now some of your cameras because right now i'm looking but you all switch it off <laughs> you can switch off your uh, microphone but if i can see some of your works hannah Fairus. Ah, I see that uh, Mehar is showing you. Oh, it's super nice. Yeah, it's quite cool how you put ornaments. Yes, it's great. And then you can do, as I said, yeah, several of them, and then you will start to make uh, another collage with it. That it will be uh, looking not only uh, yeah, as a technique, but as well as an illustration. Dark. I think I will start. Yeah, this is still dry, <laughs> um, but I will start to draw for you. Uh, so here, for example, as you see, like Aubrey Bertley, he was drawing a uh, very beautiful, I don't know, dragon. You can draw it as well. And here, as you can see, some of the lines, there are like many, many, many of them and how they are finishing. I'm just repeating it one again because this is very important. Because when you have like a lot of uh, small layers and after you have just several, it starts to play. And because yeah, all of this you can use in completely different way. If you have some questions, you can ask me. Uh, as well, if I have, for example, if I have my black silhouette, you see I did it like small, but sometimes you can put it just uh, separate. And uh, when you are using like bigger size, it's more easy as well uh, to draw and to learn how to draw fabrics because you don't need to, yeah to figure how it's so small. <laughs> but yeah, just for you to understand that you can do like everything, I start to show it on a small version. Talk. Anastasia? Yeah? Um, there's someone who's asking a question, like how long usually will the ink and the coffee take to dry is it like 20 minutes around but in case if you are <laughs> if you don't like to wait you can use hair uh, dryer 
Ah. You can hair dry it in one minute, and in case you can uh, iron the paper through the fabric, that it will be straight once again. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, uh, I know, guys. It's a little bit um, yeah long technique, but um, in the same time you can start another one, and you can do one hundred of this small. <laughs> which is good as well because the more you practice uh you know that normally to draw like fantastically you need to draw 100 1000 drawings if you will do after all the your sketches will be um super cool <laughs> so not so many you can wait while it will dry uh as well if you want you can uh, start to draw i don't know maybe some pockets uh because um you know uh when there was yeah chanel she was saying that pockets are very important because you can put over there keys um of your car <laughs> uh, or there are some stuff and yeah so when you will draw the pockets uh the garments are always become more functional and more real and this as well uh, start to have a look on pinterest on the illustrators you love the more uh, you can have a look as well so leon bucks Aubrey bear slates like old versions but antonio lopez he was doing fantastic uh, illustrations when he was young uh, and uh, looking uh, through them you will build uh, you see how he was drawing it was something uh, amazing he was putting here yeah, just some lines after he was putting I don't know logo of coca-cola uh, and then how all fabrics and he was as well <clears throat> using different poses of the people um, and the more you are inspired like the better this is one of my work which I use the same technique you see I put like girl uh, but then I use uh, different colors and here the ornament become like more complicated in a way. Uh, and then it will help you to draw, you know, like normal illustrations. So this is some of my illustrations, which I did like before or I'm doing right now, because I know how the fabrics are, are behaving. <laughs> or where it should you see it's all the same techniques so here is my ornament and then up and it's like normal shirt uh, and it's one of the technique and then there is a girl she's right now over there it's sonia santangelo and i draw her inside of the <laughs> part and here as well there is a lot of lines in my drawings and then you can understand how it's working uh, if you like more uh, technical stuff, uh, you can do as well some lines and then you can add, I don't know, you can draw like some zips, some pockets, um, some, oh, sorry, different parts. So, yeah, my class was today about this technique. Thank you, Anastasia. <laughs> Thank you. So guys, please uh, do like after, uh, after it will dry, uh, please try to put it on, uh, on a real person to make collage like full, that you will have kind of the results like this. And then, and when you will put here, yeah, as we did before, think about backgrounds as well, that it could be like different, or maybe it will be even with some uh, letters, with some different stripes and everything. Uh, write your name different way. You can you do it like your Jimamoto, like calligraphy, or you can use it uh, from uh, collage technique. Anastasia, <laughs> Radia yeah. wanted to ask you a question. She raised yeah. her hand. Go for it. Yeah. Um, Anastasia, I want to ask you, how do you proceed from like if you want to complete an illustration and then you want to go and produce that design because these are very experimental. How do you go about making technical flats and how do you like how but you just redraw it? You just redraw it once again and then you just take a fabric and you start to play with it. It's always yeah, kind of uh, plain parts and as well it depends very much 
uh, which fabric you have. And you can take a fabric and understand that it's moving a little bit different from your sketch. Uh, but then you start to see which is the best for this fabric. And then you are thinking how you can combine these two parts. <laughs> um, Anastasia, when you, uh, when you do some <laughs> experimental designs like that, uh, do you, is it better to do draping rather than pattern making to construct I think them? everything is important, guys. <laughs> I'm super sorry, but uh, as you see, I'm using, uh, like, you need to know, the more you know, the better one. But sometimes you know too much, and that's why we can go, you know, like, to our crazy tasks <laughs> uh, to make you more... Uh, easy and free because as i said sometimes you are doing you see like crazy drawings but when you finish the drawings you are thinking but i can start it i can start to make it because you already did the illustration and then um, like petit a petit like they say in french small a small then you will find your uh your way how to make it <laughs> Yeah, because as well, you see, while I'm doing crazy illustrations, after for me, I'm not so scared to cut and a little bit to play with my mannequin. This is, uh, uh, and when I'm doing the illustrations, in my mind, you know, somehow it's rolling how I need to um, be more open to this stuff. And as well, I see all their uh, sizes. Uh, because the most important uh, in fashion is how you combine. Uh, yeah, like one part with another, and then it's all coming together. <laughs> Thank uh, you. And then you can redraw yeah, your stuff. And <laughs> Thank you, Anastasia. So I think what you're telling them is that they have to be creative in their drawings, and then they can always experiment with constructions, with any sorts of techniques to actually get the desired effects. But the most important is to be creative, right? And after to redraw it and do cool fashion illustration. <laughs> and then start again. <laughs> and the process is always... Um, Thank you. Sorry. Thank you, Anastasia. <laughs> so, guys, um, I know it's 2.54, but I'm going to have to stop the session here because I have to jump on another Zoom call at 3 o'clock. So... Um, I'm going to make sure that all of the participants here uh, receive the link to the video because this session was recorded. And as Anastasia was saying, when you're done with your uh, illustrations, or if you have any questions to ask to Anastasia, you can add her Instagram profile. Uh, and I've shared it with you earlier on in the group child in the group chat. It's Asia, A S Y A underscore, uh, Gri, Gri, Griga. Griga. <laughs> Griga, sorry, G R I G A. Uh, and you can also tag Ifa Paris as well when you're done with your pictures, and we'll be happy to repost them. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for following us. Thank you very much for your time, Anastasia. Always a pleasure. <laughs> and uh, let's meet again very soon for a new workshop. Cool. Thank you, guys. Japanese lithography. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Great. Take care. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. -bye, guys. Bye. Bye.